Hello and welcome to this edition of Ringside Digest. I'm your host, Kirk Day, along with my co-host, Nolburn. And in this video, we got a little bit of breaking news. Just kind of a late night news video. The Toronto Maple Leafs have won a playoff series. We just wanted to go over it quickly in this video, just so we got to give our initial thoughts, basically, on this on this game. In this one, the Leafs win 2-1 to one over the Lightning, take the series 4-2 to two in Game 6. I just got to say, it was an absolutely insane game. Like, I don't really know what I expected in this game. The Leafs played, they, they played pretty, pretty good, but I think the Lightning did outplay them in this game. They got pretty, I wouldn't say lucky. It was it was an overtime goal. John Tavares kind of knew what he was doing, just getting the puck on net, which kind of had to do in this type of game. If you want to win, want to get out, like, a, a, a dirty goal, I would say, against the, against the, one of the most incredible dynasties we've seen in a long time, the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, I'm just going to go over the, quickly in the game. Matthews gets the first goal. Uh, in the second period there. And Stamkos ties it in the third, pretty much like just beginning of it almost. And uh, John Tavares is the Maple Leafs overtime hero. And so we're going to go over in uh, tomorrow's video, we're going to go over this game in depth, like just going to go full recap of it, you know, like we've done so far in the past few uh, few videos. But I got to say, just before, just want to do a little recap, like, like we said before, Samsonov did keep the, light, uh, the Leafs in this game. He played fantastic against like what a Tampa Bay team looks like what he thought would come out in Game 6. The, the Tampa Bay Lightning, I thought, really probably would have won this game at the beginning of it. You know, they were pretty dominant throughout the whole game. But the Leafs managed to get him and get the series first series win in 19 years, which is absolutely incredible. And, like, yeah, I got to say, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty happy. You know, I'm not a Leafs fan by any means, but, like, it's pretty cool to see after 19 years what they're going to do, and they're going to move on to the second round, see who they play. Because I think after this win, I think now that they got the monkey off their back, they can go on to do some pretty good things in the in the rest of this playoff series. You know, they got the team, they built the team for this occasion. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see what uh, what happens yeah. in the rest of the playoffs. What do you think, Noah? It's pretty pretty exciting um, game, hey? Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know, I don't know if I'd say I was excited, you know, <laughs> a little bit of a but uh I'll leave the leave the bias out of it, but uh, what a series! Yeah. You know, they both teams fought hard. They just gave it their all, and they left it out there, game after game. And you know, you know the the seven couple. Uh, I think it was seven two or seven three in the first couple games. That means absolutely nothing. It, it shows nothing for this series. You know, this game it was one goal by Matthews, like you said, and then Stamkos came back. It was a tight, tight game. No, no air, no room for mistakes. So uh, really, really solid game for both. Um, you know, another thing, I, I I was absolutely dumbfounded that uh, that they finally managed to get out of the first round. You know, plain and simple. You know, it's we all know the history and we all know everything that that's, that has happened in the past. You know, with with the history in the playoffs. So I mean, I, I got to give it to them a little bit. You know, I, I I don't know. I'm I think if they if I think it's Boston. If Boston doesn't win and plays Florida, the Leafs have a shot. I really think yeah. so. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I can't say like that. I'm uh, not happy because I know I had prediction of the Leafs, and I think it was six. I got to say, I think it was six. But whoever they're gonna play, whether it's Boston or Florida, I do think they have a good chance after beating the, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah. You know, these guys have won two cups in the past three years. They've been, they've been elite, and beating a team that hasn't really overly changed much, which is pretty much the same core for sure, and who won the two cups. You know, I think the Leafs have a chance now that they got they the pass. For, I think that they passed the first round. That was the factor that makes this possible. I think if yeah. they play Boston, yeah. there's still another you know a little mental mental game in there where they lost in Game Seven there. But nobody on that team currently was on that team in 2013. So I yeah. don't think that will have overly as a big of a mental barrier as it has the past few years getting mm-hmm. out of the first round for the Leafs. So I think this will be a very uh, very crucial series yeah. for the Leafs because if I think they get past this. They can go on to the Stanley Cup, uh, the finals, play whoever they play in the West. I think they have a, yeah. a pretty good chance. You know, the team was built well. The team's played well in this series. May not have had, like, the best few games. Like you said, 7-2, uh, 7-3 seven, 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 in the first two games. But they they seemed back. I got to say, the, these last recent games against the Tampa Bay Lightning, they've seemed good. They've seemed like they've been ready to move on and get past what they've had in the past, the past few mm-hmm. years, not getting at the first round. And, like, now that they moved on... I think they do have a very, very good chance, which is going to be pretty Absolutely. interesting to see because the Tam- uh, the, sorry, the Toronto Maple Leafs have had a pretty good team the past few years, but they just haven't been able to get that monkey off their back. Now that they have, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens going on uh, the yeah. rest of this playoff series. Um, yeah, another thing I want to touch on is a couple of players on the Leafs' side. Uh, Luke Shin, I thought he, he was phenomenal defensively the whole series. I thought he was he was a rock up back there on the, on the, uh, on the point for them. 
So, you know, great addition trade deadline. I think it was a third or a fourth round pick. So Kyle Dubas looks like an absolute genius in that. Um, another thing, uh, the young kid, Matthew Nyes, I, I thought he, he played phenomenal too. You know, for a young kid to come in and play like that, especially in the playoffs and on top of that playing in a, in a market like Toronto, uh, it's it's just it's just awesome to see. And it, it, it it's pretty cool for the game. Yep, and he, he hasn't even very played many NHL games. I mean, I think he maybe played three before the playoffs. Coming yeah. off a loss in the uh, NCAA Finals, you know, it, he, he wanted it. And he looked good in, in these few games he's played. I mean, him and Brock Faber on the Minnesota Wild, you know, they, Minnesota didn't get the result they uh, they wanted. But those two look determined after losing in the uh, the NCAA Finals. So I, I think he's going to have a, a lot bigger role going into the next uh, the next round oh, here right, against either Boston or Florida. Yeah, because like... Yeah. He, he started on the first line too, I think, tonight. He did, yep. Or at yeah. least the starting line, whoever, what if they didn't continue play that first line. Yeah. But, you know, he now has that experience. I know it's only been a few games, but he has that experience of an NHL playoff atmosphere at home and at a Stanley Cup champion barn, which is in Tampa. So yeah. we'll be going over all this in the, some, uh, tomorrow's video as well. Going to go more in depth on it. You know, this is kind of just an initial reaction. But I got to say, it's a very good game. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in uh, in the in the rest of the playoffs. So... That's all we got for this video. We'll be, like I said in this past few videos, we're going to be going over uh, the rea actual reaction tomorrow, you know, our breakdown of it, what we have, what the recap, and what Tampa could probably be doing for the future in uh, in tomorrow's video. But we hope you like this video, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff from us, initial reactions, you know, some recaps, because we're going to be having all of it throughout the rest of the playoffs. And make sure to like if you like the video, and thank you for watching.